Good morning, folks. Today we're seeing the end of the coronal hole stream in the solar wind. Jupiter opposes the sun. And don't forget, the western Pacific, down under in southern Asia, have a solar eclipse visibility tomorrow. This morning, we're watching the sequence leading to the release of that filament structure on the north. We saw the south release yesterday, and now there goes the north. It released slowly, just like the southern rope did, but its CME is unlikely to be as big, and either way, it will miss Earth. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day of our star was relatively calm, but not silent. At the very end of this sequence, you'll see a central pop this morning. It was a tiny ejection near the small filament structure there. If you were sitting right next to it, it would look huge, three times the size of Earth. But in this situation, it was nearly insignificant, and I doubt we'll even notice it in the solar wind. Solar flaring still depressed, and we can't blame a complete lack of sunspots either. Even the smaller groups here would have been C and maybe M-class flare makers just a few years ago, but we're on track to grand minimum, and the Earth-facing quiet is strong. Solar wind here, you can see speed in yellow coming back down, meaning the stream is ending and we're likely done with geomagnetic storms from the event. Speaking of such events, the next coronal hole is facing Earth now, but remember, it's the second negative opening, so no polarity change, and we already released a ton of energy in Sumatra six days ago. Top spots to watch on Earth is tough to say. Look at the huge missing data swaths here. Fiji, Tonga, Vanuatu area on watch. Japan right behind them with the west coast of Central America coming in next. Top news today includes Ceres 1 from Dawn. We have an amazing in-out situation where a mountain appears right next to an almost same-sized crater. Very cool update, and there's more to come from them. NOAA has released a new animation of the 2011 Japan tsunami tracks and wave heights. I did not know areas that far east saw such high readings from the event. Folks, as you know, I find myself standing apart and in between from the global warmest and the climate deniers, neither telling the full story. Well, here's another example of why it's impossible to trust the money behind one side of the story. Can't trust either of them, actually, but this is what we have today, and one side is definitely making it easier on us. United States alerts continue. That central low-pressure Earth spot structure is taking the geomagnetic storm energy since no tropical events are afoot and the rain and storms will continue. Lastly, folks, are you serious? With just over one day left to join the founding members club of the Disaster Prediction app, you have allowed the observers the freedom to operate as needed to deliver everything you guys deserve, and clearly, you deserve the world. One day left. Website members, we had Fly on the Wall come out Saturday, a deeper look Sunday, and the next one last night. All three are Sumatra quake related, with the minutia picked over in the shorter episodes and perspective in place in the larger conversation is well flushed out in the podcast from Saturday. Pressure and radar in Europe and down under, current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.